well. Oh, hey there. Merchants. Three of them. Four of them. Five of them. All her sisters are out. Anyways. Um. Oh, yes. Alternate nose for Atu. Thank you. Um. More important than that, though. We finally have our Tiki. It's so good to see her again. Oh, and she has a Dragonstone Plus. That's, um... That's neat. So, 12... 70, 1, 2, right? Compared to, uh... 8, 80, 1, 2, yeah. So, quite a bit stronger. Well, so I think we know what we want to use that hammer on. Um... Though we'll also want to give her a regular Dragonstone, I think. Just to make sure that she uh, doesn't waste that one unnecessarily. I wonder, actually, does it give you... Yeah. Gives you slightly different uh, boosts. Actually, quite a bit more strength. Plus three strength. Plus one magic, though. I don't think that one really matters. Uh... Unless the ranged attacks use magic. I don't think they do, but they might. Um, extra two skill. Extra two speed. Extra three defense and an extra two resistance. It's awesome. But she's plenty strong. As is without that. With just the regular Dragonstone, I think. Good to have you on board, Tiki. What supports do you have? Do you have any... No! Tiki doesn't get supports? That's... Tragic. Oh no, there she is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh hey, Anna. Huh. I'm actually kind of surprised out of all the people. <laughs> that Anna could have a support with Tiki is one of them. Maybe she can talk about Anna's ancestors with her. Sayri is not too surprising. Well, I don't know who that is. We should be able to get Norman and Lucina without too much trouble, at least. Oh, and, uh... I'm a little surprised Tiki can, can get an S support. Apparently only with male Norman. Interesting. But we are going to do the barracks first. What do we got first? Ah, Henry and Vike. You fight really funny. We should try taking on the enemy together. Eh, uh, I suppose. Wouldn't be a terrible combo. If, you know. You know, he wasn't level like one or two. Who is the Vike to say no? If it's combat genius you want, I'm your man. Been a bit generous to yourself there. Is that Kiel? Yeah. Huh, huh, huh? I'd better pick this up before someone trips on it. Oh, you please, yes. Ooh, an imposing axe. I bet that's, uh... Probably about, what, three uses, and it's about as strong as silver. I had to bet. How are you two doing, Pan Noir? It seems Tagwell are not the only strong are not the only strong ones. Shall we fight together more? I'm sure she would enjoy having a companion. Someone to help her out. You know, it's so she doesn't have to rely on her uh, alternate personality. Alright, two is safer than one. Yes, they are. Ah, stall. Been a while since I saw you. Sometimes it's good to stop for a moment, get off your horse, and see things a new way. You're getting experience, aren't you? Yeah. And, ah, Krom. What are you getting? The leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. Very true. Well, no, you should rest still. And... 
I don't know. I feel like a good leader should know when to fight and when to surrender. I guess actually, I, I agree with the sentiment. I think I disagree with taking that too literally, though. Tiki. Man. She really is so much older now, isn't she? Who knows how many tens of thousands of years, or maybe thousands, I don't really know for sure. Voice of the Divine Dragon. While mature, she also has a childlike side. Being a dragonkin, she has lived since days of yore and was friends with the Harrow King Marth. Yeah. The most likely to sleep in. Poor Tiki. She misses so much due to her, uh... Excessive sleeping. Which, if I remember right, isn't entirely voluntary. I do hope you got to spend a nice full life with Marth and company. Alright. Lucina and Sully. Ooh, your A support. Fantastic. Oh, mother, I've done it. I found your ideal outfit. I just know you'll love it. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Oh, wow. Didn't think you'd find anything quite so quickly. Now, Soli, don't disappoint her. Whatever it is, you love it. Period. Right? I'm sure it'll be fine. I can hardly wait to try it on. <laughs> Uh... You have my gratitude. And I can't wait to see how it fits. Are you ready? Ta da Hmm? Huh? It's tiny. Almost like... Lucena, these are baby clothes. Aw, oh, wait, Lucena, did you pick out something for yourself? Right. Yes. I saw you admiring them in the shop when we visited the market together. I didn't understand why. Until I realized you must have been thinking of your daughter. <laughs> Lucina, it's a little weird to hear you talking about her like she isn't you. The real one you have, or the one you have in this era, I mean. Your real daughter. Oh, Lucina, you are her real daughter. Yes. You could send it, uh, you could send it to her back at the castle. I'm sure she must miss you. <laughs> well, you would know better than anyone. <sighs> Lucina. <sighs> I've been so happy here, despite having to fight this war. Being able to see my mother again has been like living in a dream. Truly, that future is just way too sad. I'm glad you could come back to the past and enjoy a bit of happiness, even if you are fighting a war while doing so. I didn't want to wake up and remember that you have a different life in this world. <laughs> Whenever I think of your little girl, I can't help but feel... jealous. Oh, Lucina. I know it's ridiculous to envy myself, but I can't help it. It's okay, Lucina. And they care for you too, I think. Sorry. Oh, hell. Don't be silly. I've thought of you as my daughter from the moment we were reunited. Believe me, I love you just the same as I love that child at the castle. <laughs> Good on you, Sully. Mother. Honestly? Right. Of course! You're a true daughter to me. Aww. I want to give you happy memories to make up for those you lost in your future world. And I know your father feels the same way. Yes, he does. In fact, we've already been through this, I think, in his support. <sighs> if anyone knows how he feels, I imagine it would be you. Yeah. Of course! Your father and I are alike in a lot of ways. We're both parents to the best damn daughter in the world, for one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good mother, Sully. Thank you, mother, for everything. Aww. Glad to see you guys supporting her so much. To work on Norman. Norman and Lucina. Ooh, another noble rapier and a brave axe. 
And the killer act, uh, the killer lands might be nice too. Another source of physics is also always appreciated, in case the other one gets covered up. Ooh, eleven sword. And an energy drop, very nice. I get those. If I can afford everything. An arms scroll. Not discounted, but might, might be nice. Don't need the arc fire anymore if it's not discounted. If I'm gonna buy a rune, this would be the one I want. Same with the elixir and actually silver lance for that matter, too. I think we'll be stretching our funds pretty thin, though. All right, we've got three notes for our twos now. Figure I should stock up so I don't run out again. Um, I mean, it's practically exclusively what Tharja should be using anyways. And now I have more than enough for all the items I want from our merchant friends. Altogether, I think they cost about 1,600. Or I mean 16,000. Take your time. Oh, I will. Double check actually how this so well I forget how effective these actually uh, well, I guess they're super uh, effective against mounted so it would be worth it to have them even though they're weaker than the falchion I want the brave and having crit weapons is always nice Excellent. I have enough dragon stones. Oh, that's why we had physics. How many physics do I have, actually? Do I need to restock? It's not a discount, but I might as well do it here. Yeah, looks like I really need to restock. One full one on Frederick. All right, I think we're all set. Now, the question is, should I make another attempt at these guys? I feel like I should make an attempt every chapter after every map, basically. So they will be critical for building up my supports more than I already have. Yeah, I'm going with no. Ugh. Looking at their defenses, their speeds, and their hit, you know, their power, their attacks, it's still just not even close to reasonable for us. Makes me a little worried that we are getting nearer to the end of the game, I imagine. This is chapter 19 or so. I suppose we do have the uh, DLC to grind on if we really need to supports or otherwise maybe I could do the exponential growth map to or the golden gaff or the infinite regalia in order to build up our supports I would really prefer to get the child characters finish up those paralogs that we can sooner rather than later like I said, I feel like we're probably getting near-ish to the end of the game. Maybe another four chapters. I mean, they typically go into the early 20s at most. Now let's see what this map offers, at least. Xenolog. That's an interesting mm -hmm. area. Yeah, where are we? <laughs> ah, bonjour. Anna? You are in the Outlands. Ah, so you are actually supposed to be French? A place where all your fantasies come true. We can have ex- uh, We have more exotic adventures here than you can shake the stick at. <laughs> Why is Anna French here? Do not worry. I will not tell the wives. Uh, I'm not planning on cheating on Soli or anything. 
And Norman's not crazy enough to cheat on Tharja. Huh? Er, Anna, are you feeling all right? You seem different. Hmm. Nonsense. Do not confuse me with some real life acquaintance. I am twice different. Maybe... Actually, I'm not... I don't know if the... I think the French pronunciation of that's probably the same. Um... Regardless. Maybe you... Maybe how you say... Alternate. Of one of you know... Of one you know? On home? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I see. I think. <laughs> However... I am in need of the help. Could you destroy the entombed that are pouring out of the ruins? They have been raiding our village and stealing all the crops in the fields. What? That's terrible. That is terrible. Wait, there's a village inside the ruins? How's that even possible? Asking the important questions, Krom. And wait, what kind of monster zombie thing eats vegetables? Very important question, actually, yeah. These like vegetable brains? <sighs> they are alternate to Shelly. It is the alternate world. Hmm. Right. Well, um, look, we have urgent matters to attend to in our own world. If we lent you some weapons, I'm sure you could take care of a few corpses. Krom, you have fought these entombed. You know how dangerous they can be. Moi? Moi? I am just the poor defenseless woman pretending to have the ridiculous accent. <laughs> so you acknowledge this. That you're uh, putting on an accent. I cannot actually do the fighting. Ah, uh, oh, a pity. If you cannot help, I will just have to wait for the next passerby. Meanwhile, the villagers will starve. I can picture the lamentations of the woman and the children even now. <laughs> oh. Oh, Anna. Alternate, alternate Anna. She kind of cracks me up, actually. Oh, gods. Now you're starting to sound like Hubba. Who the hell is Hubba? <sighs> that pumpkin. He, has, he was like the sun to me. And now has he has been eaten. Mama, the children in the other villages have potatoes, but not me. Mon amour. Mon amour. Amour. My love? I want you not to dress like the tomato. Show me those bite marks. <laughs> villagers are dressing like tomatoes now. What is going on? <sighs> what? Why would anyone... It doesn't even make sense. Fine, fine. I'll kill all the damn creatures for you, all right? Thanks. <laughs> and now she reverts back. Whoa there, buddy. Take it easy. I just work here. Besides, it ain't all charity. You'll gain plenty in the bargain, too. Anna. <laughs> You're the best. And the worst. Simultaneously. Taking out them in tune will earn you a lot more than you know that. Uh, a lot more, you know what? Hmm? No, I'm afraid I don't know what. Ah, oh, well, you'll figure it out. You'd better hurry, though. Those entombed are sure to be dashing for the exits. Too sweet. Ahem. That is to say, tour de suite. Bon chance, tihi. <sighs> Les sigh. <laughs> oh, God. Well, oh, we only get a few. Interesting. How weak are they? They are very, very, very weak, but also high level. Jeez, I can just basically one shot these can't. This is actually, I would almost kind of feel bad about this. This is probably not the best way to build up supports. They can't take hits. I'll still pick people who I want to build up their supports at the very least. Or perhaps people who need levels too. 
Actually, I should specifically go for the ones who might have children. Yeah. You know, this would actually be a... I could build up some of the characters that I haven't been using, too. Hmm. Assuming I can just do this map over and over and over again, at least, like, anyone can destroy these things. And I should assume all the ladies have children. So I could even potentially get their children's paralogs, too, and if I don't plan on using them. You're just run away. Huh. Alright. This is really just free experience, then, I guess. It's all it's intended to be. Well, I'm not gonna bother showing it then. No, no. A ducking crop thieves brings black, or <laughs> brings back many colorful memories. Gregor only needed to flex muscles, and bad men run crying to mother. This is Gregor. <laughs> Those good times. I guess everyone has a. Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay, now the counter makes this a problem, actually. Attack from range. Do they all have counter? Oh, no. It was just that one. Uh, two, three. Fair enough. That was silly of me. Not to pay attention. Oh. <laughs> dead things? I love dead things. Especially when I get to kill them again and again. That's a very special experience. Damn, Henry. Oh, after I kill you, do you think you could get back up again? Please? I, um... Maybe not. Yeah, they are worth a lot of experience. I mean, Henry's a relatively lower level, but he's certainly no slouch. I want to limit the, uh, gets the kills to people who aren't on my main party, I think. I sometimes pick up, uh, pick stuff up off the ground and eat it, too. But never other people's property. That's just rude. Guess it's time for Noe to teach you some proper manners. Yeah, you show them. Right. An unusual enemy like this ought to yield ample experience. Perhaps these foes should be left to units with more room to grow than me. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'll hold back if they stand in my way. I mean... Actually, you're... You used to be in that position, Frederick, but you have fallen behind quite a bit. Uh, no fault of your own. It's all me, but... Mm. Well... It's voila! The entombed are no more. No. Indeed. We're all stronger for the experience. It was actually... <laughs> oh, that's nice. But the entombed spring up like weeds, we... So, come back anytime you are looking for the, ch the, the challenge. No doubt the villagers will weep tears of joy to see you again. And we've already established that this accent is fake. Really? Right. But the fact that it's fake, I guess... Hopefully makes it a little my uh, accent a little more forgivable. Right, because we could save their precious vegetables. Vegetables they somehow grow amidst stony ruins. Crom's asking a very important question here, Anna. The, the, the <laughs> just so many questions. Vegetables threatened by. Vegetarian monsters. <laughs> I mean, that's why they're so weak. They don't eat the human flesh. Mm -hmm. For subsist entirely on vegetables, but it makes them super experience rich. Exactement. See you again soon, Monsieur. Well, I doubt that was enough. Oh, we got. Uh, that was enough for Gregor and Noe. Gramps? Hmm. Gramps? What is this Gramps? So rude. If Gregor is Gramps, 
The little girl is great, 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 great granny. <laughs> He's got a point, Greg. Or <laughs> no, he. <laughs> He's got a. Actually, that's not enough greats. I'm pretty sure she's like a thousand or something. I think she said at some point. Mm. Uh, so you know how old I am? So you know. Oh, and that's a pout. So you know how old I am, huh? Weird. Most people can't stop talking about how young I look. Nonsense. It's just how you say flatulence. <laughs> no, no, Gregor, wrong. <laughs> Flattery. Flattery is the word you're looking for. Oh, God. <laughs> no, wait. Flippery? Flatness. Oh, oh, no. Gregor does not remember. I mean, she does sort of look like a water dragon, I guess. Flippery, maybe she is. Maybe she has flippers, I don't know. I won't even touch the other one. Though... Okay, it's true. Is that word? Is that word when people say lies to make other people, other person feel better? Hmm? No idea what you're talking about. Anyway, I have something to ask you. Eh? Do you want to borrow money? Answer is no. Gregor is poor like beggar. I <laughs> just assume she wants money. We'll be fine. Yes, I know that. That's why I want to give you something. Oh. Huh? You give Greg a shiny gold coin? Huh? No. Crown doesn't have let Crown doesn't let me have money. What? Oh. I always end up losing it. Noe. How and why? I need context here. <sighs> Agreed. Greg too is sooner trusting senile squirrel with life savings. What the Noe, what have you done? How much gold have I lost because of you? Hey, for your information, I happen to be quite smart. Sure, Noe. Whatever you say. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Except, I won't be trusted with my money, apparently. I just don't care about money, is all. Us manikeets don't use it much. <laughs> no? You seem a little worldly, though. Uh, it's very good. Money is root of evil. So then... What you give, Gregor? Aren't you a Nothing. mercenary, Gregor? You fight for money. I need to do a big woolly sweater. Aww. Noe. Really living up to that great, 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 great granny uh, title of yours. See? It's got shoulder pads built in. Good grieving. No, this looks like Grap's clothing. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. Also... Gregor is no good in sweater. It's too hot, yes? Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, but this one is really light. It really breathes. I lined it with manikeet scales. Oh, wow. Your own scales? Hmm. Scale of manikeet. Gregor is stunned. How are you finding such priceless artifacts? Uh, uh, really, Gregor? You... Give you a second. Two and two together. Mm. See? I thought you'd be impressed. I just had some lying around, so don't worry about it. You know, I really wanted these two to uh, support each other since, you know, with how we recruited them. I'm glad we're finally getting to that. Many then Gregor accepts wonderful gift with much gratitude. Okay. <laughs> glad you like it. They are hilarious together. And adorable, kinda. Well. It is definitely not the most efficient for getting um, supports. You only get a few attacks in before they, everyone's gone. Maybe another one of them is better. I guess I could build them really, 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 really strong ones I'm not using, and then use, like, the reading boxes or something. We'll beat those other monster encounters that are on the map. It's an option. There we go. Two rounds, and I got the other supports. Fantastic. Lissa and Frederick. Shall we, then? Come, milady. It's time for your lessons. 
and don't bother trying to run away this time. I'll fetch my horse if need be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that'd be a little embarrassing, I think, for Lissa. I mean, my big mouth. Frederick, please. My whole body is one big bruise after yesterday. This is what happens when you make a deal with the devil, Melissa. Really? A clear indication you need to train more. You're badly out of shape. Now come, you'll never get stronger by making excuses. I won't get stronger if I die from training too hard either. I need a break, Frederick. Do you know what a break is? A b b break? What is this break you speak of, Lisa? This is a new concept. <laughs> uh, no, Frederick has never taken a break in his life, I don't think. He doesn't even sleep. Right. I'm familiar with the concept, yes. But it's not something I engage in personally. <laughs> see, see, I told you. I knew it. What? How is that possible? People need to let off steam or they explode. It's very messy. <laughs> they don't literally explode, Lissa. No. I exist to serve and protect you and Krom. That is my role as a knight. The oath I took did not include stipulations for time off. <laughs> he takes his oath very personally and very literally. You know what? I think you just don't know how to relax. Also that. <laughs> Ooh, she's calling you out, Frederick. Huh? Wait. I thought I was joking. Was I right? You don't know how to relax? It's actually kind of tragic. Shall we then? Enough talk. You're dodging the question, Frederick. Adopt your stance. We'll practice dodging arrows. Oh God. Don't don't be shooting arrows at her. More like dodging questions. <laughs> she has you. She has your number there, Frederick. All right, fine. I can see this is I can see this is going to take some doing. So how about this? In exchange for you making me stronger, I'll train you in the art of slacking off. <laughs> I don't know. On the one hand, that would be good for him. On the other, I feel like the moment Frederick takes a break, this army falls apart. And honestly, Lissa and Krom are probably assassinated. You should feel honored. I'm the best slacker in all Elis. Don't take pride in that, Lissa. <laughs> what? Milady, we really don't have time for. Hey. If we don't make it the time to waste, you'll never learn to waste time. <laughs> oh my god. I love her. We, we've been really missing out on Lissa's supports, haven't we? This is amazing. Wasting time learning to how to waste... <laughs> wasting time learning how to better waste time seems a frightful waste of time indeed. See? Now you're getting it. That's lesson one. <laughs> exactly! So let's get started. <sighs> Perhaps this time I should be the one running away. Well, that would be wasting time in a sense, so that, that might work. Henry, Hello. Sumia. Thank you again for the help with the bowls, Henry. No. No problem. Us dark mages love to help others. <sighs> it was just like you said. Those fixed bowls ended up falling apart again. Uh, he did warn you. The hex would only last for, what, a day? And long enough to eat out of. <laughs> yeah, even crockery cannot escape the blood-soaked hand of fate. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, gross? Does she need any other words? Anyway, I think it's great you use hexes to help people instead of... Well, he, he, hold on, Sumia. He, he does both. Well, whatever nasty thing he could be doing. <laughs> she seems aware of his personality, at least. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it feels pretty great to be able to help others. Is Sumia gonna reform Henry? That was amazing! You know, you could do all kinds of things with that reverse time spell. Yeah, the... honestly, the applications are limitless. Like, 
revive dead crops or mend broken arrows during battle or whatever. Hmm. I feel like reviving dead crops. I mean, it reverts back, so would they not revert to being dead? Wow. Say, I could, couldn't I? Yeah. I like the way you think, Sumia. Those are some excellent ideas. <laughs> Henry, you are truly, well, was it minus the uh, sadism and the love for blood and guts? You are truly a man after my own heart. Specifically regarding the puns. I love them so much. You know me. Gosh, do you really think so? I don't normally have good ideas. Oh, Sumia. Most of them are awful, to be honest. I'm not a magic genius like you. Hey! Would you maybe want to try your hand at a little dark magic? Oh, maybe. Huh? Well, I have always kind of wondered what it would be like. You do enjoy at least the fortune telling stuff, right? It's not really dark magic per se, but I don't know. It feels very tangentially related. Got you covered. Say no more. Er, but give me a little time to get things ready. Oh my. Maybe Sumi reforms him and he corrupts her. They'll end up in a nice happy middle. Next time we meet, you'll be flinging spells like a pro. <sighs> you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Of course. I was wanting to ride a Pegasus after all. Well, it's a deal. You can teach each other how to fling spells from a pegasus. It's a shame she can't actually use dark magic as a dark flyer, though. What? Wait. What kind of hex are you planning here? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. The hex he's planning is one of romance. Actually, that would be kind of bad. You know. Basically, brainwashing someone into loving you. Be extraordinary, exceedingly bad. Also, the plot of Shrek 2. Next up, B for Gregor and Tiki. That actually happened much faster than I thought it would. I wonder if we get enhanced supports in the support points in those chapters. No, we. You have time, yes? We can speak. Yes, huh? of course. She has all the time in the world. You know. For, for all intents and purposes, her time is limitless. What's up, Gregs? <laughs> I like the way she calls him Gregs. <clears throat> Gregor's name is Gregor. But at least you are not calling him Gramps. <laughs> so, hey. All right, so, what is it? Many thanks. You remember sweater you gave to Gregor? It is very fine sweater. Best ever. His helping to deflect dangerous blows in last battle gives Gregor peace of mind. Aww. Yeah, it is made of dragon scales, so... Or at least it has them woven into it, so I would expect it provides good defense. Yes! Oh, goody! I'm glad you like it. No, no. Gregor is... Not exactly say he is liking it. Aw, hey, poor Noe. Mm. No, I kind of think you were. <laughs> I don't know, I love her pouting. Yes. When Noe makes sweater, how many scales is she using? Oh no, is it itchy? Uh. Oh, I don't know, a few? Define a few. Huh? Gregor not knowing this few, meaning is more than two, yes? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely more than two. Yes, few is like, I don't know, three to five, maybe. <sighs> now Gregor knows where you get scales. They come from Noe's own body. Yeah. But this must be hurting terribly, yes? Oh, so the problem isn't the sweater. 
you're worried about Noe. Oh, that's actually sweet, Gregor. And missing skills means no armor for you. I, 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 this, I see the problem, Gregor. I am sure this is more like, I don't know, shedding or perhaps more like molting for a bird. I'm sure she sh sheds scales and then regrows them. Go grateful you make sacrifice for him. It is very foolhardy. Okay. But I just wanted to. Stay Since you lose back. armor, we make new rule. You stay close to Gregor in battles. <laughs> Aww. Here is sweetie Gregor. Thanks. I think I can handle that. Wait, that. wait. Did she actually permanently remove some scales? Hmm. Alright, we did make sure before she gets her kid to get her to at least level 15 so she gets the Gale Force. Definitely want to pass that on. Excellent. And she can already take advantage of it too. We also get to see what a Paladin gets at level 5 too. I don't think we've seen any Paladins yet. Defender. That is... That's plus one to all stats while paired with another unit. Oh. Nice. Now... Does that go to whoever? Hmm. Or just to you? If, if you aren't the one active, the active unit, do they still get the plus one defense? That'd make it a little better. Or not plus one defense, plus one to all stats, right? Yeah. Yeah, this really isn't too bad. Just two rounds in there, and actually, they get to the next level of support. I feel like it must. Either I've been horribly wrong about how many support points they get, because I feel like it took forever for Tharja and Norman, or some people support easier, or you get a lot more points in there. Frederick, it's time for your lessons. Aha, the shoe is on the other foot. And don't bother trying to hide this time. You're terrible at it, you know. Eh, that's what this is for, to practice. <laughs> Poor Frederick. Huh? Ah, there you are. Come on, didn't we have fun last time? Oh. Doing what? Wandering about camp, bothering the others for no cause? Or do you mean when we laid in a field, aimlessly staring at clouds for hours? That sounds lovely. You just take a nap under the clouds if it's a nice swarm, but not too hot day. Probably in the shade. Cool grass under your back. With good company. Hey! Both! It was amazing, right? Rejuvenating. Life-changing. Well... It was exhausting. <laughs> Frederick, that is exactly the opposite of what lying on a hill should do. In all my years of training in combat, I've never felt so tired. <sighs> a clear indication you need to relax more. You're too in shape, Frederick. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh. Did you seriously not enjoy any of it? No. Well, I can't say it was entirely unenjoyable. Yeah, you enjoy the company. The time we spent exploring was a new and valuable experience. <laughs> oh, goody. I'm so glad. I'm so happy to hear that. Ah. If you are happy, then I am happy, milady. Aw. Right. Well, then, let's get started. Those clouds aren't going to watch themselves. Shall we, then? But we least about yesterday. I propose an alternating schedule. You know, the more I th see this, the more I think these two are actually really good for each other. He'll keep her a little bit more hardworking. She'll keep him from working himself into an early grave. Even numbered days, we train. Odd numbers days, we <clears throat> relax. Aww. That's a very reasonable compromise, Lissa. Oh, there are 
they're adorable. Henry and Sumia. Really? Ooh, fun music. Uh, Henry, you're looking a little bit uh, guilty there. Henry, what's happening to me? What have you done? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> That's what you meant by <laughs> let's work on something to allow you to try dark magic. <laughs> Going all freaky Friday. Henry, what's what's happening? What have you done to me? Yes. Isn't it obvious? You're me, and I'm you. Clever curse, eh? Ugh. <laughs> Whoa, careful with my vocal cords there. Besides, you're the one who wanted to cast spells, right? <sighs> this is not what I had in mind. But... This is amazing. Henry's the best. Everyone's the... I love them all. This game has great characters. Well, you're, you're about as magic... Well, you're about as magic as an old sock. So this was the only way. And while you can cast some hexes, I'm going to ride your Pegasus all over camp. Uh, do you know how to ride a Pegasus? Sumia, quote unquote. Woohoo! I'm gonna swoop down on people and drop stuff on their heads. It's no god. <laughs> and it's gonna be Sumia doing it. <laughs> oh. Oh my. This is truly, truly a recipe for chaos. You know that? No, no, no. Let's, let's ignore the loot implications of what they could do for uh, with this kind of hex. It'd be really weird. <gasps> but what if you fall off? You might hurt me. Huh? Poof. You fall on your face ten times a day. This body is made of rubber. <laughs> Won't she eat the gum gum fruit? <sighs> Okay, but what about your body? It seems pretty flimsy, to be honest. Actually, not all that flimsy. He's got decent defense. What if I trip into a ditch and snap these little chicken legs of yours? Ooh. Point. Yeah. Henry's got a point. Sumia. Your, uh... Your body might not stand up to her, uh... To his clumsiness. Well, if you're that worried about it, I guess we can switch back. I think that would be for the best. I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is a shame. Henry was gonna have so- Sumia was gonna have so much fun. Honestly, you could have had a lot of fun trying dark magic, too. Well... Hey, no worries. This bodice is kind of freaking me out anyway. <laughs> Not, uh... Not comfortable in Sumia's body, then. That's fair. Fair enough. Now, important question, though. Are you still able to switch us back? You know, in Sumia's body? Okay, here goes. Kablamo! Yes, sir. There. All better. Huh? That was weird. Well, very... Very lucky that you actually were able to do that. Also, the magic words kablamo were critical, I imagine. Absolutely necessary. Hey! You didn't get to spin any dark magic, though. Aren't you disappointed? Yes. No, it was a bad idea in the first place. What if I'd cursed you by mistake? Aw. What if I'd turned your guts into pudding or whatever it is you dark mages do? Jeez. <laughs> That is a horrifying spell. Uh, that would have been awesome. But this is... God, Henry. No. <laughs> but still, I'm glad you're worried about me. No. You're a good friend, Henry. Of course I'm worried. These are the most unlikely pair, but somehow it just works. Wow. Ah, uh, thanks, Sumia. Next time... I'll, I'll make sure to look out for you. What? We're not going to switch bodies again, are we? <laughs> of course we are. I haven't had a chance to ride your Pegasus yet. You know, you could just 
have her give you a piggyback ride. Or a Pegasus back ride, I guess, in this case. You know. Just get behind her and ride together. It's amazing. Ooh, level four, uh, 15 sorcerer. What do you get? Tome breaker. Nice. It's a good, it's a good one. Useful in many situations. Breaking someone's inventory is as bad as murder in my book. My merchant's heart goes out to that shockingly, shockingly lovely field keeper. <laughs> yes, shockingly lovely. It's almost like looking in a mirror. You'll pay for your crimes. All right, there we go. I, uh, like I said, I've um also been working on Tiki and Anna. Just, I want to get as many Tiki supports as possible, and this seems like a good way to do it. Honestly, this seems like a good way to actually get all the supports I want. Maybe. Man, eh, doing all of them might be a bit much. We'll see. But this has proven surprisingly effective. Let's get started with our S's. Lissa, Frederick... Hello, Frederick. I... Huh? T... What was that? Was that you just frantic... What was that you just frantically put away? Are you... Hiding something from me, Frederick? Hee hee hee. I think he is. No. Me? I... Er, no. Of course not, my lady. Not I. Now, how may I be... Uh, my, how may I help you? Hey. By showing me what you're hiding. Honestly, you're such a terrible liar. He is. It's not his strong suit. It's what he relies on you for. It's that ring you secretly picked up last time we were out goofing off in town, huh? <laughs> Man, he is. So she, you... This isn't even close to a secret, then. <laughs> not so secretly, I see. Hehe. <laughs> Did you really think you could keep secrets from me after all these years? She knows you too well, Frederick. <sighs> and I suppose you know my intention in buying it. And that it, and that it's meant for you. Huh? Uh, I, I'm thinking she didn't actually put those those two things together. Well, oh, no, she did. I was pretty sure. But it's never certain till it's certain, you know? Right. Then I suppose it was a waste of time drafting 12 different ways of telling you. <laughs> that is the Frederick way to propose. Certainly. You always did know me was so well. <laughs> it seems like I trained you well, too. I'm so proud of you for wasting so much time. <laughs> so romantic. Uh, these two are made the, uh, well, opposites, but opposites attract. And of course I know you well, Frederick. How could I not? You were my first crush. Oh, really now? Well, go figure. What? My lady, I, I, I did not know. How long has that been the case, Alyssa? When, when did that happen? I, I know you didn't, even though I made it so obvious so many times. Fredericks, sometimes some people you gotta, you know, shove it right in their face and ears at the same time. Honestly, it can be hopelessly dense sometimes. But I guess it worked out in the end, because I got my dream, teehee. Aww. I do hope the age gap here isn't actually too significant. I mean... It's a little weird if he actually effectively raised her. I don't actually know how old he is, though. Or how old she is, for that matter. Explain. And what dream was that? Right. To marry my first love, obviously. It's kind of every girl's dream. <laughs> I'm afraid I wouldn't know. Hey! But you must have a dream of your own, right? What's your dream, Frederick? To serve you and Krom? 
Well... To serve you, to protect you, and to make you happy for as long as we both shall live. Which, if you're doing your job properly, is hopefully quite a long time. Oh. <laughs> well, all right. I think I can let you do that. Twist my arm. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Right. Okay, you're going to have to start calling me Lissa. Yeah, she's got a point. You're marrying into the royal family. Ah, your station is increasing. Very well, Lissa. Thank you. Actually, no, I suppose that's not quite true. Well, I don't know. At least in private, you gotta call her Lissa. That was pretty sweet, though. They were adorable together. Tiki. Wait, no, not yet. We're saving you for last. Sumia and Henry. <laughs> well, how did you enjoy your first Pegasus ride? Oh, you got it. You did it. I wanted to see that. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. First it was like, whoa. And then we were like, psha. <laughs> Away with words, Henry. <laughs> it was totally fantastic. Thanks for loaning me your body. Yeah. I'm happy I could help. Hey. Er, when I was borrowing your body, I noticed something funny. Oh? Yes. Funny? Really? Your heart was racing constantly. I felt giddy and dizzy at the same time. Oh. I mean, I would imagine that's just adrenaline. I think you should see a healer soon. What if you have a murmur? What? Actually, Henry, I have can't be fixed by a healer. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I, my, my guess would have been just, oh, you know, flying around super fast. Yeah, your heart's gonna race. Oh, and I also noticed it gets a lot worse when you're around me. You know, it's actually interesting. Apparently, love is found in the body and not the mind. <laughs> now, it could be system a systemic cardiovascular issue, but I'm thinking... Oh, Henry. It's not that. Think hard, but I believe you'll figure it out. <laughs> Knowing Henry, he probably already has, and he's just messing with you. Oh, wow. I get it now. We have the exact same ailment. Huh? We do? Mm -hmm. I think you're amazing, Sumia. And when you're around, my heart goes nuts. So, it sounds like maybe you've got the same thing going on, right? No. I know it's a bit odd, but I think I've fallen in love with you, Henry. Honestly, you guys make an oddly perfect couple. Don't understand it at all, but you do. <laughs> Great. That means I didn't waste my money buying you that ring. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> ring? Oh my goodness. How'd you get <laughs> that get on my finger? <laughs> Did you teleport it there? <laughs> I bought it when I took over your bod. Ah, smooth. I bought it when I took over your body. It made the fitting a breeze. Very clever way of secretly getting the size right. Uh, you wanted to borrow my body so you could check my ring size? But, but, but the jeweler might think I'm a pathetic spinster buying her own ring. Oh, yeah, that's true. So long, oh, sucker. yeah, he definitely thinks that. Anyway, do you like it? This is what happens when you fall for a prankster, Sumia. And then Horrible, semi very violent prankster. <sighs> of course, I do, Henry. It's beautiful. And you've cast the best hex of all. I couldn't be happier. Aww. Sweet. Last ports are actually pretty great in this. Noe and Gregor. Oh, you guys are actually behind. No, no. Noe, in past days, you and Gregor are fighting many times side by side. Hmm. I know, it's so fun. I'm doing my very best to protect you. Hmm. No, it's backward. Gregor protecting you. Ah, but never minding now. 
you protect each other, but she's the dragon. She She's protecting you. When allies fight together, bonds grow strong and become more powerful, yes? Yeah. That's how the support mechanism works. In real life. So, Gregor thinks we should train together, becoming unbeatable force. Mm. What? Now? Because, see, I kind of promised to eat with Crom and some friends. Hmm, you should go eat with them then, Gregor. I thought maybe you might want to come along. Please? Mm. First we do training, then maybe we can do the visiting friends. Ah, the food's gonna get cold. You know saying. Youth must work like dog to make better future better. Yeah, but neither of you are youth. Mm. Actually, I've never heard that one. Besides, I'm hardly a youth, you know that. Good one. Uh, yes. Gregor is sometimes forgetting you are old crow. <laughs> okay then, meddling Gregor will leave Noe alone to her fun. Huh? Gregor, wait! Don't be upset. <clears throat> no. Gregor is old fool who is only thinking about self. Gregor tries to help you be stronger, but already you are smarter than Gregor. Damn. Gregor doesn't mince words. Uh, oh, Gregor. You know, now that I think about it, I do want that special training. Boy, this is worse. You agree just to make old man not be feeling like sad sack. You successfully guilt tripped guilt tripped her, don't worry. Nope. No. Look, you spent all this time worrying about me, so I should listen to your advice. I'm really grateful for the offer, okay? Honest. So let's train together. And you worry about each other. So you know. You're our, the two old the, the two old folk of our party. Two old crones. We belong together. And Gregor even, you know, forsaked his old contract to save you. Actually, you were running away at the time, if I remember right. No, we not pitying Gregor, yes? You swear on Mother's grave? Is her mother dead? <laughs> really? I can't wait to train. It's such a great idea. Attack! Well, if you are insisting. Stop. All right, let's get Tika and Anna. Ooh. I'm so curious as why they have a support. Hmm. I see. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. What? Hey. Is there aught I might aid you with, my lady? You've been circling around my person for some time now. <laughs> like a vulture. What? Apologies, oh exalted one. I'm just basking in the glow of the Divine Dragon's Oracle. I see. I am used to such rapt attention. You stare at me as one might an exotic creature in a menagerie. Uh. <laughs> Anna, what's your intention? Call anyone who's been alive for millennia exotic, wouldn't you? <sighs> My lifespan which should not preclude you from treating me as an ally or friend. Yeah, she craves friendship or companionship in general. For I came here not in for I came here in that capacity, and not as that of Oracle. Oh, then can I get your autograph as a token of our new friendship? You just want to sell this, Anna. Huh? My autograph? Yes. Yeah, it's easy. All you have to do is write down your own name. Yes. I suppose I might grant such a request. Cha-ching! Really? Yay! <laughs> Cha-ching. You're not even hiding it, Anna. Here, this should be enough to get you started. Oh, God. <laughs> you want to have her mass produce her autographs and sell them? Heave ho! <laughs> By the gods! I've never seen such a mountain of paper. You didn't mention needing more than a single autograph. Ooh. Yeah, but I never said I didn't either. Come on, be a sport, please. She's got a scheme. 
in mind. A get rich quick scheme at that. What? That actually might succeed. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give my word. Come again. Whoa, you're the best, Tiki. I have nothing but the deepest admiration for you. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> you should at least give her something in return. Huh? Business? Strange. The word stirs memories of a merchant I knew long ago. <laughs> yeah. And that was the main thought of why they would have one is because, well, the secret merchant is timeless. And yet, with uncountable years behind me, memory is off to kind of fog through which... What's your hey, problem? come now. Come on now. Let's talk more signing. Chop chop. Oof. And at least pay her in friendship. <sighs> Poor Tiki. Oh, there's the two supports. We'll get the next one shortly. Or paralogs, I mean. You know, I actually don't have enough available people with the uh, supports for Sharon Cordelia to get theirs. Thing. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I do. It's just that I don't use most of them. We could pick Donald or Gaius. Rickon. Perfect. Okay. No idea which one I should do, though. Which ones I should do, I should say. 